What's going on everybody? This is Morgan with the Bird of Donnie YouTube channel. I just wanted to share with you uh, uh, this little treasure I found on, on the boat during uh, some work I was doing today. I was uh, opening up the uh, um, these I don't know, sealed bulkheads, whatever you want to call them here, uh, so I could uh, get up in there and do the fiberglass work. Um, like I said, I was thinking about even making like a little sealed compartment here for storing some, you know, some paperwork or you know maybe some food rations or you know cell phones or whatever but uh, anyways so I had already done the other one and pulled all the stuff out and I almost want to think it's factory uh, factory work here like this stuff that's in here because of the shape that they have it in try and pull this out in one piece it's a little wet I'm not sure if that's because I had cut the holes and the water got in there or if they were just wet from before. The water doesn't look too old and nasty, but I'm not going to taste it or anything. So there was this thing, it was shaped pretty well. <clears throat> so that's what made me think that it was from the, uh, the factory because of how well it was actually cut. I'm not saying that somebody not from the factory. Uh, couldn't have done that well of a job, but it's just shaped really well. That makes me think that that's been there since the boat was built. And there's also this, which, which I was a little confused about when I, when I initially saw these from the outside. And that's what made me want to cut in there, just to mainly pull this out, so I don't have any stuff in there that can, you know, rot eventually. Um, plus, I wanted to inspect the inside there since. You know, newspaper doesn't necessarily look factory, but uh, Click Attack Canoe Company was probably a pretty small company, maybe just a few people. So, um, who's to say that they didn't use um, some newspaper packing when they're doing their work here? You know, I'm not exactly sure how the uh, canoes were formed. They do look like they were possibly formed on a. Uh, um, some type of mold with a spray-in resin. Although inside here, I do see some uh, what looks to be woven fabric. I just can't quite tell if that's, um, I can't tell if that goes all the way up yet. I haven't been able to inspect or whatever. <clears throat> but what I thought was interesting, when I called it a little treasure was, you know, this paper, um, and of course these other ones here I've got one from the other side that I've opened up a little more but you you look up in here and you can see the date um, and it's from the Oregonian right that's a, a Oregon newspaper that's still publishing today um, from August 25th 1982 <coughs> So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I believe the other one is the same date from the other end. So, you know, I have a possible birth date of this canoe or at least a repair date. I don't, I really don't see anything that looks like a repair up in here. It feels pretty clean. It looks like really nice work. Although, like I said, you don't see that woven fabric anywhere else on the boat except for in there and where the repairs were that I had pulled off that obviously they were insufficient um, there's a little bit like I said there's a little water here a couple inches down in there I'm not sure if that could have been from overnight since I had just barely cut it open or if that's been in there for a minute on this side anything is possible but both both sides had a little bit of water <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll uh, get the camera and get a little shot of that a little closer and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just thought I'd uh, share this little uh, treasure or um, I guess you could call it a, uh, a time capsule. You know, not a whole lot in here other than some newspaper. But you know, I can you know go through here and maybe read some of the news stories. Uh, some of the more interesting news stories that were going on in those times um, and if I can't quite if I can't quite find you know the full 
a store here, we might be able to pull it up online or something like that. So that page is just totally ripped there. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's even some fiberglass in here from the the woven fabric. Um, just really confusing. But anyways, but yeah, I'm about to get back to work. I'm going to get a little footage of uh, both the insides of the, the stern and the bow uh, access holes now. And then um, i got to get back to work. I'm going to be sanding down all the uh, inside of the... Uh, upper rails here the gunnels and stuff so I can prep those for uh, for strengthening I'll be adding a few layers of some sheet wood probably quarter inch plywood I'm, I'm guessing uh, anyways yeah looking inside the, the bow right now sure how well it can be seen. I do have my camera light on, but I don't think my phone flashlight's helping either. But that's what we've got going on in there. I'll work on taking some some other pictures as well. Getting some better I, I got I want to know what's up in there plus I you know I'll stick my head in there but obviously it's a little too small <clears throat> but I gotta you know do some work up in there with some fiberglass so besides that I went along and marked all the spots where there's cracks on the uh, edges of the gunnels up here to make sure I reinforce those and repair those properly. So. Hopefully I'll be able to get something good out of that right there, that footage. Um, other than that, I'm just marking all the other spots I gotta fix. Then I gotta sand it down. Um, after I uh, cut a few pieces of wood. Uh, all right, so that's just a short video showing the little uh, uh, treasure slash um, what you call it. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. I just wanted to share that little uh, the discovery of the uh, treasure or um, time capsule, if you will, that I found uh, d doing some work on my boat here. I'm about to um, cut some wood pieces, uh, make the bracing for the uh, the bowsprit. Uh, bowsprit. <laughs> I'm about to make uh, make the wood braces for the bowsprit brace or wood piece or whatever you want to call it as well as the one for the rudder um, you know that's probably shouldn't take me too long I just got to cut out a few bits and notch it and stuff so yeah uh, thanks for joining me on the bird of dawning YouTube channel I just wanted to share this little bit of uh, stuff I've, I've been doing with you and uh, there'll be a bit more progress in the in the coming days um, I'm gonna just film a little bits and then I'll wait um, good three or four days to um, edit, all, edit all that into a, a single video um, that way I can make a bit more progress um, while I've got some halfway decent weather so t today is actually really really beautiful so it's a shame I'm here doing work on this but you know no pain no gain right uh, anyways um, I'll see you again soon take care